ACU, Engine Control Unit Purpose The primary purpose of a car's engine control unit is to regulate and optimize the engine performance. It achieves this by monitoring various parameters, such as engine temperature, air flow, fuel mixture, and exhaust emissions. The ACU uses this data to make real-time adjustments to factors like fuel injection timing and ignition timing, ensuring efficient combustion and optimal fuel efficiency. So the ACU plays a crucial role in managing the engine's functions for performance, fuel efficiency and emissions control. Location The location of the engine control unit in a car can vary depending on the make and model. In many vehicles, the ACU is situated under the dashboard on the driver's side near the steering column. However, it's important to note that some cars may have the ACU in the engine compartment or other locations. 15 signs of a bad engine control unit 1. Check engine light When a car's engine control unit goes bad, it can cause the check engine light to illuminate due to various reasons. If there is something wrong with the engine control unit, the onboard diagnostic 2 OBD2 will show some of the code and you need to address them properly. 2. Poor fuel efficiency So the ACU is the brain of a vehicle. An ACU gathers data from the vehicle's sensors and electronic components and using this data the ACU controls the whole car. So when the ACU is not well, it's so obvious that the ACU won't be able to maintain the air fuel ratio and you will experience a drop in fuel economy. 3. Engine misfires. In addition to decreased engine performance, a faulty ACU can also cause the car's engine to misfire when accelerating. However, this problem does not occur all the time. Usually the car's engine will misfire suddenly and return to normal at any time. 4. Stalling or rough idling The ACU adjusts the idle speed by controlling the amount of air and fuel entering the engine. A faulty ACU may fail to maintain the correct idle speed, resulting in rough idling or stalling. 5. Difficulty starting This could be due to incorrect fuel injection, bad timing of spark plugs, because the ACU relies on data from various sensors to make decisions. If the ACU has difficulty processing or interpreting sensor data due to a fault, it can impact the starting process. 6. Unusual engine behavior A malfunctioning or bad engine control unit can result in unusual engine behavior, including erratic RPM fluctuations and odd behavior. 7. Transmission issues If the ACU is malfunctioning, it may send incorrect signals to the transmission, leading to shifting problems, hesitation or even failure to engage gears properly. 8. Failure of emission test a malfunctioning engine control unit can lead to increased emissions, potentially causing a vehicle to fail emission test because a bad air fuel mixture for combustion, bad ignition timing, or because of bad sensor readings. 9. Delayed throttle response If the ACU is faulty, it may not process signals accurately or in a timely manner leading to a lag in the response to throttle inputs. Issues such as sensor malfunctions, incorrect fuel injection timing, or communication problems within the ACU can all contribute to delayed throttle response. 10. Unexpected power loss A faulty ACU can cause unexpected power loss because it may provide incorrect signals to components such as fuel injectors, ignition system or other vital engine systems and because of this the engine may not operate optimally leading to power loss 11 warning light beside check engine light 
A malfunctioning ACU can cause various warning lights to illuminate besides the check engine light. If the ACU fails, it may impact other functions, triggering warning lights related to ABS, anti-lock braking system, airbags, traction control, or other electronic systems. Therefore, a bad ACU can lead to a range of warning lights appearing on the dashboard. 12. Communication errors If the ACU is faulty, it may struggle to communicate properly with the diagnostic tool, leading to errors or a lack of response during diagnostic procedures. This can impede the ability to retrieve accurate data and diagnose issues within the vehicle. 13. Incorrect jump starting Incorrectly jump starting a car can potentially damage the car's electronic control unit due to voltage spikes or reverse polarity. It's crucial to follow proper jump starting procedures to avoid such damage. If the ACU is damaged, it can lead to various issues within the car's performance and functionality. 14. Engine shuts off. A faulty engine control unit can cause a car engine to turn off unexpectedly. The ACU manages various engine functions, such as fuel injection, ignition timing, and emissions control. If it malfunctions, it can disrupt these processes, leading to engine stalling or shutting off. 15. Water damage. This is one of the most common causes of ACU failure by water. This can occur if the vehicle has been exposed to heavy rain, driven through deep water or if there is a leak in the car's cabin or engine bay. Water can get easily into the ACU, causing short circuits and damaging the delicate electronic components inside.